Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gerardo Malone, founder of ProsperityLifeVegs.com. Today's topic is give and receive. So I just wanted to address this topic on giving and receiving because it's the actual ebb and flow of life. It's essentially what makes society society. So everyone has a role of giving and receiving, and everyone is essentially playing both roles. So it's not like you are a giver and you're only going to be a giver. Sometimes in, in different time periods or different situations in different contexts, you'll be a receiver. And sometimes you'll be a giver. So it's really depending on your situation. However, most people, they start off as a receiver just because they don't have the capacity to necessarily give. And that's that's fine. That's because that's just like the starting point. As people mature up and get into that kind of adult time period, they start to become givers more so because they already have already kind of accumulated enough on their own. So then they can make that kind of transition uh, from giver to receiver in and out. But again, it's important to understand that you can you may very well fluctuate between giving and receiving all throughout the points of your life. One of the, th uh, the th important things that make life work and just prosper is this flow of giving and receiving. The more that we contribute to the world, the more the world will be able to prosper and succeed in its own in its own ways. And this sometimes this is like a little difficult concept to to grasp. However, this is essentially what we're here to do. We're here to kind of contribute to the world by giving and receiving, by sharing our talents and then receiving whatever it may be as a result. And this is not even like greedy. This is not even like unethical. This is just kind of like just a natural cycle of of life in every single time period. Everyone is motivated to get to do something whatever it may be because essentially what we're here to do in this planet is to share our talents to express ourselves to be creative in some kind of form however we cannot do that if we don't have um, enough energy right because human beings in essence only have so um, uh, a certain amount of energy so it's kind of capped I guess you can say until they and it, it rises, right? It increases as like they level up in their lives and as they kind of upgrade their living conditions and they have a better understanding and they eat right and certain things like that. But the point essentially what I'm trying to get to is that human beings have finite energy and they can only do so much within that kind of finite energy. So if they're doing, if they're trying to like get money or they're trying to do something and they're like hustling, hustling, this is why like the hustling mentality is very kind of tricky because it's like yes you do want to do work but at the same time you want to like make sure that you have enough energy because you want to think of it as like your thoughts and your energy uh, your thoughts and your actions are kind of like um like an energy meter and if you're using too much energy meter then you're burning it out in which case you won't have energy for tomorrow or next week or something so the more energy that you use up today and you're not refilling it back, the, the important, uh, important thing that I'm trying to address here is the concept of recycle. If you're doing things and you're not getting back, you're essentially depleting your energy meter. So anytime you, you do something, you need that to recycle, to refill, you need your energy to kind of come back in some kind of way. In our setup right now, we have work like um, the traditional setup is nine to five. You do the grind, you get paid for your hours. Other people do online business and other creative endeavors, in which case they get rewarded in that way. But the major point that I want to address here is really just kind of like just the energy cycle, which is why the give and receive thing is, is really, really important because once we understand this concept, we understand how 
we, we, we not only understand why our society works the way it does, but we, we then can understand, all right, so if you can contribute to the overall growth of the society, then we can help society prosper faster. And in which case, when society is prospering faster, you prosper yourself as well. Which is why I do want to kind of highlight this fact is when you're helping society contribute, you're helping yourself contribute. And I know this can be challenging because our DNA is very like in the way and blocking and can kind of, we have our own stress, stressors and things and challenges of our own. So it's very hard at times to focus on the big picture because we, st we still have certain things that are on our own that are still like we need to fix up and that's very understandable. Now the point is not to like, how should I say this? You don't want to ignore those things because you do need to fix up your little, your little uh, nuances, your little kind of things that you need to address. What I'm trying to say is kind of have a little bigger picture perspective, which will aid you a lot better. Because once you once you have incorporate this into your kind of way of being, you'll see that these things are here, and you can really, really contribute to the world in a meaningful way in which case you will also receive a lot more so a lot of things has happened to bring society to what it is today partially the give and receiving and then the also the doing technology has escalated to s such a massive point we're really at a great point in society right now because I feel like we are in the rise where we're going to see a lot of amazing things in the next upcoming I'm going to give you like a quick little a b test imagine a world where the world is fl flooded with chaos and chaotic people people who are really just trying to sabotage the world what do you think is more likely to happen in that kind of realm of reality what's more likely going to happen is this it's going to spread and it's going to be contagious which will kind of infiltrate the people's mindsets and make other people be just as chaotic as well. Humans are naturally adaptive and they will adapt to what, whatever it is that they need to become to survive and thrive in their environment. Now I'm going to give you another B, uh, the case of B. So now we have a better, more civilized world. A world that has amazing technology, amazing people, and people are all positive, people are all happy, people are wanting to contribute to the world in a way that's meaningful. What will happen in, in this case is that people will more likely kind of rise up themselves. They see the positive, they see the good examples, which will make them also rise up and become good examples themselves. And that's what we want. We want the scenario B. Because in a scenario of A, everything just goes downhill from there. In the scenario of B, everything goes upwards. Alright everyone, that was Give and Receive. I hope you like it. If you like this podcast, please click on the like button down below. And be sure to visit ProsperityLifeX.com. Thank you.